Hi everybody, I'm gonna start this video off with some drone footage of Surprise Stadium in Surprise, Arizona. And then after the drone footage, I'm gonna take you around the ballpark as I walk the whole way around the complex. Surprise Stadium. The Royals are in there taking uh, some infield practice. I just missed their their batting practice. I caught the tail end of batting practice. When I parked my car and got out, I saw a ball rolling across the street about, I don't know, 300 feet away. But there's another ball hawk out there that kind of just walked over to him and picked it up first. So you can see right in and see what is going on. You can even see the batter if you stand on this sidewalk here, which is pretty nice because a lot of the times, the other practice fields, you got to go and find a hole in the fence and kind of peek through. There are several baseballs inside this fence. It says no trespassing. So unfortunately, those ones are going to just sit there. You can see all the Royals are walking back. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but there's a bunch of Royals walking back to their, uh, I don't know, I guess they have a dorm over there. Walking back to their housing for the day. I just missed their workout. I spent too much time in Goodyear. It's the way it goes sometimes, though. You can see some Royals over there doing some conditioning drills by that building. The thing I really like about this setup is they don't have those big, huge fences that the, the, the Reds and the Indians do. This is the only one I've seen so far out of three fields. So you have a lot more chances for baseballs to fly out of there. It's like something's going on here. We got a bus that pulled up. All right, next the Royals practice fields across the, uh, I guess, main little entrance here into the back of the stadium. You got the Royals. Actually, check that. You've got the Rangers practice field. So let's give you a walk around those and see if we can peek in and see if anything's going on at 4:30 in the afternoon. Can't really see into the Rangers fields if you look closely. There's a sign on that backstop that says Texas Rangers 3. 
So I'm, these four fields are four Texas Rangers fields. I've already walked around one of them in the outfield. Let's see if I can walk around all of them and hopefully I'm just looking for one that's set up for batting practice. Maybe some after dinner batting practice. Well, didn't find any baseballs, but it looks like I found some drug paraphernalia. Not even going to touch it. People, why even do that to yourself? That's just... Some of these parks, like especially in Florida with the practice field, you can go and find balls all over the place that have been hit when no one's around, like early morning, later afternoon BPs when no one's there. But here, there's literally nowhere for the balls to hide. It's a good look at one of the Rangers practice fields through the fence. They got the batting cage out here. Looks like you might be able to go in there and watch what's going on when uh, somebody might have gotten a ball through there. You might be able to go in there during uh, regular business hours and get up right close and personal. Yeah, notice for your safety due to practice field setup and based on the organization's workout schedule, some areas of the facility may not be accessible during certain times the texas rangers oh look at this guys see it look at all these baseballs in there oh there's a bunch in there there's a bunch in there those are fresh mlb baseballs too you probably can't see because it it's not it's not going to focus through the fence but it's got an mlb logo on it not the minor league logo there's another one another MLB baseball that's three eight nine fourteen fourteen MLB baseballs and if I had brought my uh, PNC ball retriever that one right there is definitely close enough that I could have just gotten up oh wait there's another baseball so what is that 15 here we are at the main ballpark surprise stadium First base gate. It's a more central view of the outfield. Kind of hard to see with the shadows because of the sun. Here's the team shop. And over here you have what looks like the center field gate, I'm guessing. And here we are behind the left field scoreboard. All right, I was driving home and a home run ball just nearly hit my car, so you know what we gotta do. All right, I could see at least one ball down in that trench. The home run ball was out on the street. Gotta see if I can find that. Looks like these guys do have some power. I thought they were just, uh, they're not in uniform, so I was kind of confused. Oh, I see a big logo on this one. I see a big logo on this one. Yes, yeah, so these are MLB Arizona balls, baby. Check it out. Double digits today. This is some cheap minor league ball. Well, if one of the players came out to get the balls. There was, looks like he's got three. Yep, there's the one on the road he just got. So at least I was able to grab two, got my Arizona ball. If I was a little faster, I would have had three more. That Arizona ball is pretty sick. Dang. Foiled by some minor leaguer. Well, I wish I was recording that. I thought the minor leaguer had just maybe come out through a gate. He literally climbed the fence and got those balls because he saw me get the other ones and I guess didn't want me to get like a half dozen. Literally climbed the fence and made sure I didn't get another one. 
All right, those guys are done, so now I can go home. I got my Arizona baseball today. That was the main thing I was looking for. In fact, I sat outside of uh, Goodyear Ballpark for about seven innings waiting for a ball to come out. It never happened. I just really wanted to get an Arizona baseball from this season. Now that's completed. Time to go back to the hotel.